no. I, wow, I'm so used to doing that. Anyway, a lot of people ask for how to control the miner or how to set the different different keys to control the miner for the Powercraft mod. Now, for this, right? Yeah, there it goes. All right. So, this is the the basic um basic thing. I advise you to first really check out the guide right here. Check out the guide. It shows everything. Everything you would probably need. And I don't know. I, I guess I, if I remember correctly, how to access their config files. Like the reason I don't remember is because I probably saw it and I just just went with it and I changed it. You know, all within a day. I was a little bit of tinkering around, but I changed it. Now you gotta also remember to check the update logs. A lot of this stuff tells you what to do. Um, it was specifically in here. What was it? for the uh, the fishing machines? How to actually build them? Like right here. There it says ten block deep water on the whole three by three block pattern is required. So that's how you do. It. I mean, the, the maybe the guide itself didn't actually state it because it might have looked different, and probably a lot of people got a different idea. But it you know don't don't be ashamed to visit the update logs. Like right here, this is telling me even though I have never used it and never actually separated mods, all this is telling me right here is that. He, like when you you can separate mods by putting in the actual ingredient or whatever somehow like ocelot raw fish cookies I don't know how that works with wolves but whatever I'm guessing the the, the bones work with the skeletons but yeah so yeah don't be afraid to visit it now in the Powercraft guide you have everything in here everything everything even recipes stuff like that so what we want where is it um uh, mobile mining vehicle Keyboard control. Bam, right there. Now, we're gonna access it, or we're gonna, so we're gonna go, I just use this to go, Minecraft. You go to the config files, right? You go to your Minecraft folder, you go to config, and then you find the one that says PC mobile properties. Mobile, PC mobile dot properties. That's the one you wanna edit. So, as you can see here, right? These are set to the, to the numerical number pad. Forward, back, left, right, turn into blocks, blah, 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 everything. So, in here, you say right here, key backward, that's this one, that's two. All you do is just highlight it and change it to down. I capitalize it because, it, like, I saw that the re return right here, everything kind of stayed capitalized, or some of it stayed capitalized, so I decided, you know, let's keep with the, uh, keep it consistent. So, I think this delete right here, uh, cancel, like, oh no. This, this is already set right here in the thing. So see, I saw delete, enter, that's the return. Everything was set. Everything was set capitalized. So that's why I wrote down for uh, backward, up for key forward, left for key left, and right for key right. Now most of the stuff, obviously, is like disable mining, enable mining. It's set right here. Mining on, mining off. I just set it to G and H. Like, that's, that's it. That's all, that's all I did. I might even switch it. Be no. It stays the same. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, like that's all you need to do. You need to go in there and edit it. It's not. It's not really difficult. It's gonna take a while. Like for me, since I had a little bit like other mods installed, it kind of just like kind of mess around with it. Just just keep this open. Open up Minecraft. If you have too many items, just quickly build the miner and just keep it there. Don't destroy it. Just keep it there and see if you can control it. And that's it. That's all you need to do. So I hope this helped you guys out a lot. I mean, it's really simple. You don't need to do a lot of stuff with it. And that's it. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.